Hi everyone, welcome back. Five beauty products today that do things a little bit differently to traditional beauty products in their category. But do these work as well as the traditional beauty products? Are they even better? Let's find out, I've got five of them for you. Now the first one is New Wash from Hair Story. Now this cleans and conditions your hair in a completely different way to the usual traditional shampoo and conditioner duo. So normally we'll use a shampoo with detergents to sort of almost strip out the oils because you want your hair to feel clean and your scalp to feel clean and non-oily and then you use a conditioner to almost replace everything that you've lost. Now I first used New Wash in 2019 and I was so skeptical about it. It basically doesn't use any detergents, it uses a blend of essential oils and a few other ingredients but no detergents to really really gently clean your hair and scalp and condition it at the same time. I was skeptical because I have very fine hair, I have lots of it, I have to be quite careful with the products that I use because I can find some shampoos too harsh, they leave it really dry because it's very bleached and then I can find a lot of conditioners are too heavy for my fine hair. So when I heard about this, and it's, it's this sort of all-in-one cleansing system that doesn't lather, that doesn't need to be followed with conditioner, I thought this is never going to work for me, but I was so impressed, so surprised by the results. It leaves my hair so sort of that lovely weighty silky. So when you apply it, it doesn't lather. And what you do is you apply, well what I do is you really need to wet your hair very, very thoroughly and then apply little dots of the new wash all over your scalp and then really, really massage it in. And when you think you've massaged enough, massage it a little bit more and then rinse thoroughly. And I can tell you that it's so weird that it feels so, so clean, yet it's got that silkiness that you get when you're rinsing out your conditioner, that really satisfying, oh, this feels so lovely and soft. But all you've done is use one product. The reason that I'm talking about this again is that um, Hair Story have launched their first new product in four years, and it's the hair oil. Now, this is in its glass bottle, but let me just show you the refill um, that it comes in. All of Hair Story products, they're really aiming for maximum sustainability. So, new wash comes in this pouch you can buy even bigger pouches than this and they also do a refill club which i think gets you 15 percent off the price and then you've got um, refillable bottles as well for the hair balm and the dressed up which is more this one's like an air drying balm and it works really well i use that loads and the dressed up is more if you're going to heat style or something like that and you need the tiniest tiniest amount of the hair oil and i like using this as a finishing product just to sort of give separation and a little bit of shine. And it works so well on my hair, it's really lightweight, doesn't make it greasy or weigh it down. Now I think the elephant in the room with New Wash is the price, because it is by no means a high street hair care system. I think the comparable sort of shampoo and conditioner would be quite a high end one, um, but if you do use a high-end shampoo and conditioner and you work out how often you use it and how much actual product you use, then I think that they work out. It doesn't work out cheaper to swap to this. It's not like a, a cost-saving exercise. But if it works for your hair and it leaves it really manageable and you're not stripping the oils, then it's not going to cost you more if you're already using high-end shampoo and conditioner products. I can go a little bit longer between my washes now. So I feel like A, I use half the amount of product, hair product, and B, I'm not using it quite as frequently. I think the best thing that you can do is to go on over to the website, take a look, have a little read. It's got loads of information on there. It's got quite a fun tool that shows you how much shampoo and conditioner most people use in a year and what you would use of the new wash. It's also got information on the other versions of New Wash because there are three altogether. There's one for hair that gets um, a lot greasier at the roots than usual. And then there's one for very curly or naturally textured hair. So they have every hair type covered. And I've got a code for you if you want to buy anything. It's RKRILLY10 and it gets you 10% off. Let me know if you get anything and how you get on. And if you're already a user of um, new wash or any of the products from Hair Story. Let me know in the comments and any tips or tricks. Now the next thing I want to show you is a perfume but not as you know it. 
Now this is from a brand called Joe Loves. So Joe Loves is by Joe Malone, who used to own Joe Malone. But Joe Malone got sold and they kept her name and she couldn't call her new perfume brand Joe Malone. So it's Joe Loves. And the fragrances are gorgeous. My favourite one, Pink Vetiver, is just, I've talked about it before, the most beautiful, sexy, sort of deep and dark. Oh, it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I find it addictive. Now this is the paintbrush version. Let me just see if I can get the refill out to show you. Oh no, I've got really slidey hands now. Come on, put that on too tightly. Here we go. Right, so inside of here, you've got a little gel refill cartridge. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. On your um, pulse points, wherever it is that you normally apply your perfume. Now you might think, oh, what a load of absolute rubbish. However, can I just say that if you are a frequent commuter or traveler and you like to apply your perfume, this is so much more polite and less antisocial than getting out a big spritz and going ch -ch -ch -ch. I mean, yeah, have that on your dressing table, great. But I think for travel, this is just brilliant. It can't break. It's very, very sort of travel friendly. You can stick it in your handbag. And if you did want to apply a bit of perfume in the back of a cab, on a train, on a plane, it's always a bit dicey, isn't it, if you're in close quarters with other people. But if you really couldn't help yourself, then this keeps it very, very close and personal and you're not spreading your fragrance across a massive area. I like it. I really like it. So the fragrance paintbrush from Joe Loves, is it as good as the traditional perfume method of application? If you're at home, no, because you know you can just get a quick spritz and you're done and it's lovely and it sort of diffuses over you. However, if you're traveling, I think it's better. It's so travel friendly, it's so convenient, um, and it feels really lovely to apply it. So it's a win, it's 50-50 that one, depending on your scenario. Now the next thing, this is kind of an odd one, isn't it? This is the Tri Balm and it's a cleansing balm in a stick. It cleanses, exfoliates, moisturizes, um, all in one. So it's all in this big stick like this, look and you apply it rather weirdly straight from the stick onto your face. Do you need to really do that? I'm not sure it's completely necessary, but I quite like the novelty factor of it. And also, I think that you actually use slightly less product. Um, so when I've got a big pot of balm, I really dig my fingers in and I'm like that, and there's always too much, isn't there? Whereas this, you can sort of slide it on, massage it in, and you really do use a lot less product than you would of a balm in a pot. Is it as good as a traditional balm in a pot? I would say it is, there's no, because you use less, um, so there's nothing about it that I think is not as good. Yeah, it's just, it's just really convenient, I suppose. Again, really good for travel. Oh, I'm excited to show you this. So this is Amanda Harrington tan. This is the face mist. She's got a whole range of really amazing tanning stuff. And she's really into this idea of, I suppose, using um, self-tan as your base instead of having a load of foundation on and then a load of bronzer. So it's all about using the brushes to really shape and contour the face. And then it's almost like you can just do some eyebrows and mascara and then you're away, you know? We all know about self-tan. So in that way, it's not a sort of product that does things differently but I think the system that she has for applying it gives a much better effect. So normally when you do your self-tan, you use your drops, you use your cream and you massage that in all over and you sort of get this blanket tan. With this, because you use the brush and you really sort of shape the face with the colour, it gives this very lovely sort of sun-kissed, contoured effect without very much makeup. So I only have um, foundation on under my eyes, just here, around the nose and here, just to sort of kill any under dark circles and redness and stuff like that. Um, but on the rest of my face, I don't have any base at all. So it's, it's sort of um, taking a step away, I suppose. And in the summer, if you don't like to wear 
so much makeup. It's a really, really nice way of, I know, you wake up and you think, oh, actually, I feel like I don't really need to do much to my skin. You already feel that you look quite healthy and awake and, and lovely and fresh. And so I think that it's quite an incredible system. I just feel like you get this real shimmering kind of multifaceted tan from this that you perhaps don't get from using your traditional drops or cream or whatever it is that you put on all over and blend in. I also find that because you use a brush, you can really blend it into the hairline and I take it over my ears and sort of underneath and then down onto the chest and neck and it makes it very easy to do that because you're using a brush. So is this system as good as traditional tan? Yes, it is. I would actually say that for the face, it is better. Hurrah! This is another product that I was really sceptical about because I thought, um, what's the point? How the hell does that work? And what is the point? However, bear with me. So this is Sanctuary Spa and it's the uh, Moisture Miracle, the Wet Skin Moisture Miracle. They do a few ones of these now. Some of the scents of them I detest, but this one I actually quite like. It's quite sort of exotic and it's not too overpowering. So this is the ultra rich one. Bonus as well, that it's the ultra rich formula. And you put this on really, really damp skin. So you come straight out of the shower, you don't towel off, you put a blob of this into your hand and you spread it all over really, really quickly. And then I leave it a little while. I sort of do a bit of a jig because I always think if I towel dried it straight away, isn't that gonna rub it all off? But you, it says to towel dry. Now, it works really well, skin feels really moisturized, but I think the main thing for me is that um, you, it's a lot less effort putting it on. Because you've got wet skin, it just slides all over and then you're done. It's a matter of seconds. Whereas normally with traditional body lotion, I cannot be asked. So is it as good as a normal body lotion? Yes, it is. I would go one further and say it's, it's almost better because of the convenience. Leaves the skin very, very soft and silky. Um, it's great. I didn't believe that it would work, but it really does work. So that's a winner. So there we go. That's all of my five beauty products with a difference. What do you think about them? Do you use them? Let me know in the comments below. Um, remember there's more info on hair story and the code is in the description as well. And I shall see you next time.